Unfortunately. Did we start late? Would, would y'all lie to me? No. I was still at my table at 3 o'clock, so I didn't even come upstairs. I picked a number 5. I don't know where they were. But she asked my question, so I'll let it go. Well, I picked someone. Were you number 5? Okay, I, I picked someone as number five. I was number five. They're up, she asked my question. So she asked your question. So asked. you're on. <laughs> I think I'm ready. <laughs> Hi, Mary. I was going to ask you, when you've done um, the role for Sybil Goldrich, what challenges did you run across when you were making that role? Right. Um, she asked me about a role that I played of a woman who had had um, breast implants and then had to have them removed uh, due to health reasons. And what I found playing that role, and Sybil Goldridge uh, is the woman it was based on, she's just a remarkable person. The hardest thing was finding out the lack of safety measures there are for women in the medical world the lack of, um, at the time certainly, uh, correct information about our health and the amount of doctors who were willing to perform whatever you ask them to perform and then not necessarily be responsible to it afterwards. So there was just kind of a lot of information in there that uh, woke me up. <laughs> As you can see, no surgery. <laughs> Yeah, well, I, you know, whatever. Everybody is, you know, my feeling is about women, and, and I'm, I am one. <laughs> uh -huh. I, I'm not a <laughs> All right, you can cry. My feeling is it's a really tough time for us. We are afforded all of these opportunities to enhance our, our looks and enhance, elongate our youth, if possible. And I honestly... When I was a younger woman and I was kind of coming up in the ranks, I had a whole lot of judgment about that, and then I hit 50. I have no judgment. <laughs> My feeling is be smart, be safe, and good luck. <laughs> yeah. All right. We'll do one more. This gentleman back here has been very patient. And I also worked with him on May 1. <laughs> In West Virginia, the backwoods of West Virginia. That's right. Um, I want to congratulate you that you are still working in the business and that you're, you're, you're constantly, you know, taking on new projects. Um, so, so um, my appreciation to you. Thank you. Um, I wanted to ask you a two-part question. One, how's your son doing in his career as a musician? And I'm, I'm a musician, so I have a vested interest. And the second is, um, what is your worst moment in the uh, in, in your field that you experience, and what's the high high point? Was it two, two. Okay. First question to my son. He hasn't really begun his career as a musician because he's still finishing high school. But my daughter is a extraordinary singer, and she's she's doing it quite well. And she's uh, in the process of creating her first cabaret act in New York City. So we're very excited about that. And uh, it's only a matter of time for my son. You know, we should be like the Partridge family. The four of us, people have said, you might as well just rent a trailer, travel around. Um, the gene pool runs really, really heavy in my family. So thank you for asking. That's really cool. And then the other was the easiest and the, the, the hardest. Most high and, and, and the most uh, high point. The high and the lows of my career. Oh. <laughs> 